delighted to be here. It was a bit of a mystery. I didn't know until about a week ago that I could actually make this as part of my uh, schedule. Um, I do have something to present here uh, to the library, and that is a canvas uh, of the image that's on the bookmobile, and it has today's date on it as a remembrance of how we can move forward and look at this image uh, presented in the building for the members. Um, I always keep a journal with me. Mine is a, a visual journal that has sketches, and the image that uh, started uh, this bookmobile started off in a journal just like this. Now, this isn't the same journal, this is not the drawing, but whenever I think of something, um, I, I keep this with me, so I just put it down. I never know if that idea will become a book or not. If the idea, I keep thinking about the idea, uh, it's still talking to me, so it's a journal that's, uh, that is more like a dialogue than a monologue. So the drawing started like that. Um, and my drawings, and I just do a quick drawing because I think there's some children that are here, but if I were to draw the mole for spring is here, I would probably start with something that was a, a simple outline like this. And that's a scaffold for a drawing that when I decide to ink it, uh, will become something more like this following the idea. Moreau said, a line is a dot that went for a walk. <laughs> so I take a lot of my dots for walks. And a line that can be something, and of course, what you have here and what I have felt today is a sense of warmth. And that warmth is from your community and it's outreach even to me in Ohio. And I hope this book will have that sense of warmth that welcomes our community together and we could read diverse stories and find out about our community, we're doing so. Uh, when we launch a ship, we christen it with being able to crack uh, a champagne bottle. Uh, we don't have a ship here today, uh, we, in a way we do, but I'd like to christen it with a reading, a six minute reading. Uh, but I should just show you a preview of this book that I'll read. Spring is here. It's a lot more here than it is in Ohio where I just traveled from. <laughs> but, um, my drawings from my journal uh, go into making a book. We call it in the industry a book dummy. It doesn't mean it's a dumb book. It just presents the ideas at scale uh, as, uh, and I, I present this for myself, and then I send it to my editor. And before I did this book, I did this one. And this book is printed in the thousands, but this is a one and only. And this can't happen until I do this first. And probably when we were children, we might have done books in our classroom, they were all one and all ones. And we might write our own stories and tell our children, those are one and all ones. My grandmother told stories to me. She didn't draw them, but she was a great storyteller. Today I'm going to read Spring is Here, but I need your help. <laughs> fire with, uh, and I'm going to imagine you're all about five or six years old. Reach you inside and find that five or six year old that's still inside of you. And I need you to snore. <laughs> so when I go like this, snore. You know how that works. <laughs> Yeah, a little better than that. Get in there. Let's try one more time. I'm going to go over here and uh, because I've got a younger audience right here. And so I'm going to say, when I do this, can you snore? And here we have, spring is here on the spring day. I'll move back here so that the microphone can aid me with this. And in this story, uh, the dedication is to my own mole from your father, Barrett, because this story was first told to my son. Um, and it was an experience that we had together. That's another story. <laughs> mole woke up. Is it spring, he wondered? He opened the window to smell the air. Sniff, sniff, sniff. He dressed. He tiptoed past Bear's bedroom. He stepped outside and felt mud under his feet. Squish, squish, squish. Spring is here, he cried. I must tell Bear. Mole wrapped on Bear's window. 
snore, replied Bear. Moe dashed inside and he knocked on Bear's door. Knock, knock, knock. Snore, replied Bear. Mole tickled Bear's nose. Swish, swish, swish. Snore, replied Bear. Mole played his horn for Bear. Toot, toot, toot. Snore, replied Bear. Oh dear sighed Mole. Spring is here and Bear must get up. Mole thought and thought. Then he scampered outside. He gathered. He milked. He churned. He poured. He mixed. He bathed. Finally, shuffled into Bear's room. Wake up, Bear, mumbled Mole. Spring is here. Yum, replied Bear. Then he looked at Mole. Wake up, Mole, said Bear. Spring is here. Snore, replied Mole. Thank <laughs> you.